Well, what's going on guys and welcome back to a new video for those who are new to the channel. My name is Joshua Daniel George, a social media marketing online coach. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a portfolio without ever having to land a client for your agency so that you can leverage that to actually go out and get clients. No, I don't waste no time. What's going on guys and welcome back to a new video. So like I said in the introduction, what we're going to be doing today is creating a lead generation portfolio where we can document results without even getting our client. This is a great method of basically creating a portfolio and getting that experience with Facebook advertising without actually getting our clients. And we can use this to then leverage to actually go out and get clients. So it's a great tool. And for that, we're going to be using ClickBank, which is an affiliate marketing database, which we'll be getting into in just a second. Um, this is going to be quite a long video, guys. So make sure you grab a pen and paper, uh, get comfy. That is also the reason why I'm wearing my blue light blocking glasses. I have got um, enough water with me to survive and uh, basically I'll continue uh, with this video without getting parched. But before we actually get started, I just want to map out the flow just so we're all on the same page and just so we all know what is going on. So what we're going to be doing is setting up Facebook ads. So this is going to be Facebook to get leads so we're going to be setting up facebook lead forms so leads and then we're basically going to screenshot this in the business manager that we are getting leads and i use that for our portfolio okay so the main objective for this is to basically get a cheap cost per lead and get uh, you know, a decent amount of leads for a fixed price. So let's say our start on budget for this is 100 euros. Uh, we want to basically see how many leads we can get for that 100 euros and then screenshot that. So document it in the portfolio uh, so that we can show our future clients, look, you know, uh, this, you know, uh, basically our fictional clients at 100 euros budget. And this is what I was able to do for them. Okay, so we've got, let's say for this example, we've got 100 euro to spend and we can get our cost per lead down to, let's say, 2 euro. That means that we can generate 50 leads with Facebook advertisements. And then, like I said, we can document all of this, add it to our portfolio. And let's say our future potential client um, sells a service that, let's say, costs 100 euro and we can generate him 50 leads for 100 euro then you know all we need is one of those leads to convert and he will have basically broken even however any more than that one let's say 10 people convert he has just literally gotten a 10x return okay and that is basically what we want to show our potential clients and obviously if we can back it up with data you know that would be uh, great so this is basically what we're going to be doing today what we're going to be using for that is, like I said, it's going to be ClickBank. Uh, can I zoom out? Ah, there we go. So all this is going to be done by using ClickBank. And like I said, ClickBank is an affiliate marketing database. And it's literally withstood the test of time. It's like one of the first um, ClickBank uh, affiliate marketing uh, platforms. And basically what it will allow you to do is pick out different types of offers and promote them with your own money and you know generate leads and sales for the owners of the products and then if you do actually get a sale then you get a commission so let's say for example the product is uh, 100 euros we run advertisements to that uh, and we spend 20 euro on advertisements and we actually because they've got the landing page you know everything is, is basically given to you if you do this and you get one sale so let's say you get one sale then of that 100 euros, you might get 75% commission, okay? So you get 75 euros with 20 euros spent. And the owner of the product obviously gets a sale, which he's happy with. He gets 25% of the sale, which is passive for him. And, you know, he is more than happy to give you 
75% um, of the sale because you know, you've know you literally caused that whole sale, you know, you've made that sale happen. And you've done that by setting up Facebook ads. If you've, if you've spent 20 euro, you've gotten one sale, 75% commission, which means you've profited 75 euros. And that is basically how ClickBank works. And obviously, you know, a lot of affiliates try and do this on a large scale, because if you know 20 euros in is 75 euros out, then what you can try and do is 10X that and put 200 euros in and see if you get 750 out. And then if you can do that, then 10X it again. And then you can put 2,000 in, 7,500 back. And obviously, you know, that will uh, add up over time. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to show you how you can create your ClickBank account, what kind of offers to look for, then we're going to be setting up a Facebook page that is relevant to the offer and we are going to be running our lead generation campaign and uh, I think that will be it for now. I think that video will be long enough if we do so and like I said, all of the results that we get by doing this, uh, we can document for our portfolio and if we actually do manage to get sales because obviously that you know that is a bonus it's not actually uh, the intention with this video if we actually do manage to get sales then obviously you can use that to uh, settle more advertisements either for your own agency or by continuing doing this in the clickbank way to uh, get more results for your portfolio okay so the first thing we need to do is set up our clickbank account and this video is in no way sponsored or affiliated with clickbank um i have basically dabbled into affiliate marketing myself back in january um went completely wrong uh no to be fair i i, I it was a bit distracting so it, it actually took a lot more of my time than i anticipated so i had to make the decision am i going to focus on my agency or am i going to be messing about with all these different types of uh, shiny objects and i chose uh, the former so i chose my agency and uh, basically left the clickbank uh, project as is or affiliate marketing project if you will so without rambling on too much let's just sign up to this platform as you can see it's 100 percent free to join um so what we'll do is create an account here so netherlands first name is joshua uh, george and then fill out a number i will blur this out guys because i'm actually going to use my real information here Okay, read all the terms and conditions. Okay, save. Now I've got this on my own. Complete my profile. Okay, and then go to affiliate marketplace. And there we go. We have now created our ClickBank account. And when you log into ClickBank, uh, this is basically the first thing you see, which is the marketplace. And this is where you can find all of your products. So on the left hand side, it's basically like a affiliate marketing library and everything is divided into these categories. And then when you click on the on the little icon there, you get all of the subcategories. And there are thousands upon thousands of products to choose from here. Uh, so basically what we need to do now is find a product that is relevant to the niche that you are looking into for your agency. So let's- I just wanna quickly interrupt this video and basically mention to you guys that I have a free social media marketing course and you can literally download this course if you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. So basically what I've done is I have created a custom audience with Google Ads. Uh, for those of you that are subscribed to my channel and you guys will see a pre-roll advertisement on one of my videos where I basically give you the direct link to download this course. So it's an unpublished link on Teachable, which you will only see if you are subscribed to my channel. So if you want a free social media marketing course, all you need to do is subscribe to my channel and then you will see my advertisements. So without further ado, let's Let's hop back into the video. Let's say for example, you want to target gyms, personal trainers, anything like that. We can type in uh, fitness or we can go to health and fitness here. Uh, if you click on fitness here, um, you basically get everything with the keyword fitness. And if you click on health and fitness here, obviously you, know, you can look at um, a little bit more specific dental health if you're going to look into dentists, mental health if you're um, you know, looking into coaches, etc., sleep and dreams, yeah, you know, you name it, it is available here on ClickBank. Now, a few things you need to uh, remember and understand about ClickBank is that you can filter by specific types of products. The filters that I used to use were the gravity, so I like to filter by gravity. Gravity is basically the amount of sales made by individual affiliates within the last 12 weeks. So the higher the gravity 
uh, basically means the more sales have been made by individual affiliates, which also means the more competition. So that's just something that you need to find the balance in. Usually I try and find products with a high gravity around the 100. So a gravity of 100 uh, usually means it's a popular product. It's uh, easy to sell, but you know the the basically the competition is not too high. And if you go for a product with a gravity like 400, 500, anything like that, um, let's actually see what the highest gravity is at the moment. At the time of recording this, um, sort by gravity. Research the Godzilla of Office has the highest gravity with 659. So that does not necessarily mean that 659 individual affiliates have made sales in the last 12 weeks. You know, it's basically a calculation. Um, it's like an algorithm. But like I said, the higher the gravity, the more uh, of this product has been sold in the last 12 weeks, which also means more competition. So find the balance between um, you know a decent gravity. Uh, as opposed to you know gravity with a uh, very high competition because if everyone's trying to bid for the same keywords or even media space on facebook then your cost per click will go up your cpm will go up your click through rate will go down and there are professional affiliate marketers also promoting these types of products and it will be difficult for you as a newbie to outcompete these people okay so that's just something to take into consideration uh, so where were we like i said fitness Let's see what we've got. Um, so as you can see here, there is no gravity available. So that is a relatively new product, I'm guessing. So what we can do is we can sort by the gravity here and see which uh, products we can potentially promote. So in terms of the filters, we've also, uh, we can also filter by average sale, the initial sale, um, the average rebuild total. So the difference between average sale and initial sale is uh, the initial sale is the first sale you make. But if it's a, uh, for example, a subscription based product if it's a product with upsells etc that obviously can influence the average sale average rebuild total like i said if it's subscription based percentage of sale percentage of rebuild uh, date added to the marketplace and then in terms of attributes there are a few attributes that i like to look at as well affiliate tools why because basically the vendors so the owner of the product wants you to get sales because the more sales that you get the more money he makes passively and he's more than happy to give you commission for that so what the vendor does the owner of the product he or she will look at other affiliates that are promoting his product and if he sees for example that one specific affiliate has a insane email open rate and is getting loads of sales via email he will then ask for that email script and then use that as a swipe file so that all the affiliates can use that as well same goes for uh, templates for facebook ads google keywords copy to use what kind of demographics to target etc so rather than trying to reinvent the wheel ourselves we're going to basically model success and use what works and we can do that with the affiliate tools page Another thing I like to look at is, um, for example, recurring billing. Why, if you're an affiliate and you know it's basically a subscription-based product, then obviously you know it's it's easier to get the sale because um, it's basically recurring income over and over again, and it will um, accumulate over time. So for now, obviously, because we're not actually doing affiliate marketing, I will switch that off. But the affiliate tools is definitely something that I like to look at, and then I like to sort by gravity. So as we can see here. This is for fitness. I'll show you guys a couple of examples before we actually choose one. Um, so, for example, this unlock your hip flexes. Um, if we click on that, and there's a, there's a, there's another like attribute that I like to use, but I can't see it here. Maybe they've changed this since the last time I've used the platform. But as you can see, so this is the landing page. As I said, you know they've all got landing pages. Everything is set up. All you need to do is drive traffic to it. And you know these are landing pages that have been tested over and over again. You know, these companies have spent millions and millions trying to find the highest converting landing page. So in this case, um, you know this landing page is the one that converts best. Now, quick mention: this is a landing page that is not necessarily compliant with Facebook. This is a generic landing page. Sometimes within the affiliate tools, they'll give you Facebook-friendly landers. But if you are wanting to do affiliate marketing, then I would highly recommend creating a bridge page on, uh, for example, ClickFunnels, WordPress, or anything like that. So basically a page that bridges the official landing page with your offer so that it is compliant with Facebook's advertising policies. So don't direct link this uh, landing page. So um, as you can see, this is the landing page. And then at the end, I'm guessing is the offer. So as you can see, it's a, um, 
you know, this is all long form copy. And then here we go. Here's the offer. Forty dollars off. Buy now. If you click on that button, you get the secure checkout page. Now, obviously, a question that you are now basically on the verge of um, basically asking is, how do you know it's come from me? So what you do, if you decide on this product, you click on promote. And then you create a hop link, which is basically a, it's like a bit.ly link, but it's got your, um, basically your account details in. And if you use that, then the owner of the product can see it's come from you. So for example, um, account nickname, uh, we haven't really got an account nickname, have we? So um, tracking ID, if you want to actually add additional URLs or parameters, etc., to it. But we can just generate the hop link here. Affiliate account nickname is invalid. Let me just quickly see what my account nickname is. So dashboard, and then go on to what's it called? Okay, so hasn't really got a name, but it's basically this one. Manage account nicknames, create account, account type, affiliate. And then the nickname, we can do something like, um, I don't know, demonstrating nickname already exists. George J D nickname already exists. J D G, two thousand twenty. Congratulations, nickname is available. Okay. Try again. J D G. Great account. Okay, there we go. So nickname is J D G, two thousand twenty. Hoplink J D G, two thousand twenty. Generate link and there we go. So this link will direct us to the exact same landing page we saw before but then it will have hop is jdg 2020 in it so that the vendor so the owner of the product knows it's come through me okay so in this case um like i said that is in terms of fitness uh what else do we see we saw dental health so if you're looking into the dentist niche let's see what we've got gravity 16 gravity 3 gravity 6 as you can see not as popular as the fitness uh, type products but you know if you're looking into the dentist niche here's a teeth whitening product so we can use that um, to basically build up leads and portfolio material for when reaching out to dentists and as you can see um, in terms of the copy no thanks no pop-ups um, in terms of the copy if you go to the affiliate page Here's information or basically tips and tricks, etc., for affiliates to get more sales. So as you can see, we've got articles, we've got banners, uh, conversion tracking, if you want to know how to do that. Uh, we've also got keywords, as you can see here, that you can use negative keywords um, to avoid disinterested people, email marks and swipe files. What else we've we got? Email templates, demographics, uh, demographics of Facebook ads. Let's click on that. The charts, as you can see, 63% is from the US. In terms of the visitors, 64% uh, is female, uh, country origin, 44% US, device used by uh, site visitors, uh, majority have come through desktop, age, you know, as you can see, you can literally just go hyper-targeted here. So this is the email. You've got yellow discolored teeth, the cost of going to a dentist might put you off uh, getting them whitened because you're looking at somewhere between a thousand and three thousand dollars so you can just literally use that for your email marketing campaign so let's say rather than you know because obviously we're doing this to build up our portfolio rather than setting up a um, like i said a lead generation campaign let's say you just use those emails or the leads that you generate to you know create a email list you can then use emails like this to uh, you know sell the actual product to them so anyway um Actually, it might be a good idea to do dentists. I do like that. Um, so we'll keep that there for now. And then what we'll do is we'll look at what else we've got. So marketplace. So when you log in, go to marketplace here at the top. And then this is where you get the library that we just showed you. So uh, home and garden, there's another thing we can do. Um, for those of you that are looking into like the e e um, like info products, etc., you've also got e-business. Again, be careful with this on Facebook, obviously, because it's not allowed or it's not compliant. Uh, by Facebook's, you know, with Facebook's advertising policies. But, you know, obviously there's a lot that we can choose from here. What I'll do is I'll just go to find products, sort by gravity and see what we've got. Left the tox, I'm guessing is a fitness based product or like a fat loss type. Um, yeah, so that's fitness. 
keto is fitness. Um, let's see, 12 minute affiliate marketing is earn money online. Ted's woodworking is, um, well, woodworking, do it yourself. So if that is a niche or industry that you're looking into, then there you go. Here's your, um, basically your product that you can help promote. What else do we have? Batteries, lost book of remedies, um, moving on. His secret obsession. I wouldn't recommend promoting that on Facebook. Cinderella Solution. Brain training for dogs. That is actually a prog that I tried to promote uh, last time I tried this. So if you're looking into the pet niche or industry, then obviously you can use this to build up your portfolio. So anyway, um, without rambling on too much, let's just choose the teeth whitening product. So what we're going to do now, we've got our product. Now let's set up our campaign. So uh, for this, we will need a Facebook page. So that's the first thing we're going to do. So go to business settings. Pages, create a page. I can see it's a demo business manager. Uh, create a new page. Local business is fine. Uh, name of the page, we can call this um, dental offers for you. Something like that, doesn't really matter. Choose a category, do this through local. Um, where is it? Local service. There we go. Street address. Uh, just fill out you know your actual details. Do make sure that you fill out the real details here because uh, Facebook will unpublish your page if you don't do so. There we go. And there we go. There is our page. View page. Okay. So now what we need is a quick icon. A quick cover photo, which we can obviously use um, Canva for. And then in terms of the settings, there are a few things that we do need to do before we actually uh, run this. First one is that we turn the profanity filter on strong. And what else? We don't want people to contact our page privately, so we can remove that. And then just for privacy reasons, we don't want people to be able to download this uh, from Facebook. And there we go. So that is done. Then we go to page info. And we fill out this just quickly. Doesn't need to be too in-depth. Uh, just so we've got something here. Uh, description. So we can just say something like, um, let's see if they've given us something in terms of text that we can use. Something like that. That's fine. Where is it? Where's our page? There we go. And then we use that for the impression as well. There we go, save changes, save changes. Remove has a street address, page doesn't have an email address, doesn't have a website, doesn't have a phone number. Okay, that is all done. And then from there, go back to our page. Okay, get a quick icon. Where is Google? Um, teeth whitening logo. Obviously put a bit more thought into this. I'm just doing it quickly just to show you guys. Um, let's see what we got. White now, teeth whitening. That looks good. Save as. And then just find one more image. Teeth whitening. like white smile um, white smile wallpaper let's see what comes up no something like that will do save that Go to Canva, create your design, custom dimensions, you'll start off with the logo. And then Facebook cover event, or event cover, no, Facebook cover that one. That's what we want. Upload, upload an image. 
There we go. Download PNG is fine. Then for the cover photo, just quickly upload that. There we go. Let's see if there's any elements that we can use or templates. Obviously, put a bit more time into this. I'm just doing it quickly. Why is the teeth? Shop now. Actually, let's do light blue. There we go. Download. Okay. Um, where is our Facebook page? There we go. Update. Upload photo. Downloads demo logo. Skip the cropping. Okay, add the cover photo. Upload white the teeth. There we go. Okay, so now we've got our page. Now we need to set up our lead generation campaign. So as manager, let's remove some of these tabs, uh, hop link. We don't need the hop link anyway. That was just to show you guys. We don't need this. Um, I can remove this for now as well. Leave and then create our campaign. So we do lead generation for this because we're going to use Facebook lead forms and then BP worldwide. Um, we do ClickBank lead gen uh, for portfolio. Okay. <clears throat> Campaign budget optimization is fine. And then just put your budget that you want to do. So let's just say um, 10 euros a day. And we run it for 10 days. Continue. Facebook page tends to ask for you. That's fine. View the terms. I agree. Um, so we just do worldwide 18 plus, you know, do whatever you want. You can do UK, US, um, actually, yes, just, let's just do US, um, just so we can say we've done this in the US. So locations, because obviously the, if you do worldwide, you'll get a lot of cheap leads, but they will be from third world countries. So we'll just do the US for now, 18 to 65, um, in terms of the targeting, obviously, you know, think about like what kind of people will uh, be interested in teeth whitening. Um, just for the sake of this example, again, put some time into this. Uh, we can just see teeth. Let's see what comes up. White teeth. Teeth cleaning. Let's just do teeth cleaning for now. Six hundred thirty thousand people. What else have we got? Suggestions. White teeth. One point one. Teeth is a big audience. Mouthwash now. Okay, so let's just do teeth cleaning and white teeth. Um, manual placements. Deselect everything bar from the news feed. There we go. Why do we do that? Because what you guys need to understand is that Facebook's number one priority is not for us to make money. The number one priority is the user experience and you know us monetizing the platform comes secondary to that so yes facebook do want us to make money because obviously we will come back uh, and spend more on facebook ads but you know they want their users to have the best experience possible so by doing uh, automatic placements you're trusting a platform that doesn't have 
you making money as their number one priority. So always make sure that you do this yourself. And like I said, that's why I always do manual placements. And what you can even do is you can do just mobile or just desktop. For now, I'm just going to do all the devices. Mobile traffic is more often than not, it's cheaper. Um, but like I said, just for this example, we'll stick to both. Okay, lead generation, that's fine. And then what we can do is now set up different types of images we're not going to use oh actually we don't even have an instagram page um that's ah, fine for now obviously if you're going to run this on instagram make sure you've got an instagram page so that if they click on your profile on instagram they can actually see a profile rather than just um a static instagram page so from here uh, we now need a few images and we need some text and then we need to create our lead form so in terms of the images um let's just go to unsplash.com Uh, dentists probably best to like smile or something like that rather than dentists so again guys like the whole point of this is not necessarily to make money with affiliate marketing it is so that we can get leads that we can then show in our portfolio to our potential clients so basically by spending a hundred or fifty or whatever you want to spend you are basically buying a portfolio, which you can then use to leverage for future clients that will pay you much more than that. Um, let me see which images are good. That's a good image. Why? Front facing, he's smiling, white teeth. I wouldn't go for anything like that. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Let's just do white smile or something like that. Smile. Wow, the incense is slow. Okay, so it seems like Unsplash is down, so we have to use Google. White smile. Images. Tools. Um, user rights. Uh, we can use it. Let's see what we've got. There's not much we can use there. Maybe teeth cleaning. And now what we're basically trying to find is something that will interrupt like the pattern. So everyone's used to seeing like a specific type of image, etc., on uh, Facebook. Like for example, something like this that could be up. A pattern interrupt because it's not something that you usually see on the internet so um that could actually work so we just save that just do smile white teeth see what comes up we'll choose one more and then that'll i'll just call it a day because obviously this is just for example purposes um Not really a clear image. Is that just because it's not loading properly? Ah, there we go. Save image. Download the original, please log in. Okay, nobody's got time for that. Um, white smile. Maybe just white teeth. Obviously, before and after pictures are not allowed, not even with uh, teeth, so don't do that. It's not compliant with Facebook's advertising policies. Um, okay, let's just see what is actually, if you just do not filtered. So just choose one of these. Uh, there we go, why not? Okay. Then we're gonna make a few little adjustments in Canva. So create a design again, custom dimensions, 180 or 180 is fine. Uh, 
To be fair, we can even use this one. Didn't even think of that. Maybe add the logo to it. Uploads. Change this image, add this guy. Did we just save the same image? Oh yeah, we actually did. That was the same image we used at the start of the video. Um, okay, let's pick just let's just pick one more then. This will do. Actually, let's go for the guy. We've already got a female. Image, copy, remove this one. There we go. Okay, now what I want to do is add a pattern interrupt to this by adding a scroll stopper, if you will, to get people to literally just stop in the track, stop scrolling, and try and look at, try and figure out what it is. So, what we can do is go to elements. Type in border, give the border color, not white, but it's just to change it. There we go. So now what we want to do is basically grab a color that is high in contrast with the rest of the image, but also high in contrast with what you usually see on Facebook. For example, neon green, maybe turquoise. Now, obviously, this is not really high in contrast with the rest of the image. So, for this one, maybe shocking yellow is better. There we go. So, there are three images. Just call this demo. Download. Um, PNG is fine. Wait for them to download. And then, while waiting for that to download, you can get started on our copy. For that, we can just use the swipe files, see what's there. Um, we can't say if you've got this colored teeth. Is the is do we have any kind of Facebook friendly tools? What do we get if we click on this? Okay, that's nothing. Email marketing, negative keywords, pay per click. What are the banners? Just trying to find something like just easy copy that we can use. I just use something like this. And then we can say something like, um, obviously this is difficult because we need to be compliant with Facebook's advertising policies. We can say something like, um, Wouldn't it be awesome to have brighter, to have a brighter, whiter smile? Um, in just a few weeks, without. Um, so, what is the pain of? What is a pain that usually comes with? 
whiter teeth. Without giving up tea and coffee, maybe. Click here to find out more. Call to action. Um, download. What we can just say is something like um, click here to download our free guide. I don't know. If you want, you can even download, the, uh, you can even create a free guide if you want. Click here to download our free guide. Download, create a form. Form type, more volume, intro. We can say something like, um, let's see, what can we say? Fill out your information below to get your free teeth whitening guide. Fill out your information below to, um, I don't know, to apply. Fill out your information to receive your free teeth whitening guide. Questions. So this is basically what we need to have from the leads. Full name and email address. Obviously, the more questions you ask, the more qualified the leads are. But in this case, because this is for our portfolio, we just want as many leads as possible. Privacy policy. Um, if you have not got a privacy policy, just go, just Google. Um, what is it like privacy policy generator privacy policy generator go to all and then it's this one privacy policy generator easily create your own privacy policy I've already got one so I'll just use this link for now as manager um, link URL privacy policy Okay, so we've got our questions, we've got our privacy policy, and the thank you page, thank you, you're all set. Your info has been sent to dental office for you. Um, tap below to visit them. So tap below. Again, if you want to um, actually create a free PDF or anything like that, you can. Um, tap below to download your free guide, and then you'll have to create a quick website, or maybe you have like a Dropbox link or something like that with the free guide. If you don't want to do the free guide, then just say, um, we will send your free guide via email. And then you just have that as a little white lie. And then you just have to visit the website. It can be um, just your homepage or anything like that. Okay, website link. So in this case, we'll just do the Lifestyles and Mastery uh, page just to quickly finish it off. And there we go. Save, give the form a name. Demo Dentist Lead Gen Form. Save that and finish. What are we missing? Questions, enter a message. Let people know how the information they will give be used or shared. Okay, so just please, uh, please fill out your information to qualify. Finish, will that allow us? Yep, okay, so there we go. So we've got our dentist lead form. Again, guys, put a bit more effort and time into this. I obviously need to shorten this, you know, for the sake of this video, but I'm just, you know, briefly showing you guys how this works. So um, what we've done now, confirm this, is we've got our advertisement, we've got our product that we can use. Um, and from here, like I said, all the leads that we generate, like we can now, at the end of the day, um, like let's say we've run this for 10 days, we just set this to lifetime or for example, um, today and then just do, let, let's say we run this for, for t um, 10 days, that's the 22nd. So we do that and then we just screenshot this or what whatever we want the, the potential client to see. So for example, we can remove all of this and we'll just say something like uh, outbound, click through rate, um, actually not outbound because we're not, we're not actually getting to uh, go onto the website. So link click through rates, um, we just say leads, total and costs, um, you know, whatever you want, cost per click maybe, 
there we go boom and then this you just screenshot that like that for your portfolio and then that is how you do it so hope you got something out of this hope you enjoyed this video like this video if you did and comment down below if you've got any more creative ideas of building out a portfolio without actually having a client also let me know in the comments down below if you've tried this method and actually landed the client because of it and for those of you that are serious about starting social media marketing i also offer a basically a coaching program where i literally take you on as a personal client and I help you build out your agency from the inside out. So if that is, sounds like something you might be interested in, then let's hop on a quick call. It'll be linked in the description box down below. We can see if we're the right fit for each other. And if we are, I will offer you a place in the program. But for now, thanks again for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.